Hello, my first graders. Today we're working on lesson 3.3, which is page 143 in your math book. So if you're not on page 143, pause the video, find that page, and then hit play when you're ready. All right, my first graders. It says, draw, use cubes. Draw the cubes to solve. Write the addition sentence. All right. Sal built two towers. Each tower has four cubes. How many cubes does how many cubes does Sal use to build both towers? All right, so Sal uses builds a tower and each of it has four cubes. So here's one tower that he built. One, two, three, four, four cubes. Then he builds another tower, and it says that also if each one has four cubes that means both towers have four cubes okay so one here's one tower with four here's another tower with four so now we need to write our addition sentence so we have four plus four okay four plus four what is four plus four some of you might just know it you remember using doubles in kindergarten so, but if you don't, we can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four plus four equals eight. All right, boys and girls, when the add-ins are the same, so remember the add-ins are those two numbers you're putting together. When they are the same number, that's called a doubles fact. So today we're gonna be working on doubles. Now, our book expects you to know your doubles, okay? So it was a skill that you guys worked on in kindergarten, but I know that we don't all know our doubles. So that's something that we want to practice, okay? So we wanna learn our doubles facts. So four plus four equals eight. Okay, why are these doubles facts? So why are these doubles facts? One plus one, two plus two. Well, they're doubles facts because doubles means that the add-ins are the same. So one plus one, it means the one is the same as one. It's the same number. So one plus one is two. And then here's our other double fact, two plus two. See how they're this, the add-ins are the same. Two plus two. What's two plus two? You could count these all if you don't know it. It equals four. So one plus one is two. Two plus two is four. So maybe these are sounding a little familiar to you. And then we're gonna come down here and we're gonna work on some more doubles facts. Three plus three, four plus four, five plus five, six plus six. Okay, so doubles fact is where the add-ins are the same. Okay, so they want us to draw to show our work. So they want us to see that three plus three, it's the same number twice. So we can draw our picture. One, two, three, and then we have three more. One, two, three. Notice how they're the same, right? They match. So what's three plus three? Well, we could count them all if we need to. Three plus three is six. Okay, so boys and girls, that's the same. We're gonna do the same thing for this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. They are all doubles facts. Four plus four, five plus five, six plus six, seven plus seven, eight plus eight. I wanna draw your attention to five plus five because most of you know five plus five. You have five and then you have five more. It's like our hands, right? Five and five. How many do you have all together? 10. This one we don't even need a picture for. Let's do that one more time, you ready? Our hands, because we have five on each hand. We don't need to count them all, right? You know you have five fingers and five fingers. So we go five and five is 10. All right, boys and girls, I would like you to work on four plus four, six plus six, seven plus seven, eight plus eight. These double facts that we see right here. So pause. Work on your doubles facts, hit play when you're finished. All right, let's see how you did. Four plus four, you drew your picture and then you should have four plus four equals eight. 
How about six plus six? You should have that equal 12. Think about six and six, it's like 12, a dozen eggs. Seven plus seven, 14. Eight plus eight, 16. So let's just look at these all together now that we have our answers in. One plus one is two, two plus two is four, three plus three is six, four plus four is eight, five plus five is 10, six plus six is 12, seven plus seven is 14, eight plus eight is 16. So again, boys and girls, it is easier if we have those memorized. So that's something that we want to practice. If you don't know your doubles facts, something you want to work on uh, learning. So it'll make the rest of this chapter easier. All right, let's look at number seven. Look for a pattern. Look back at exercises one through six. Write the double spec that would be next in the pattern. Oh, look at that. One plus one, two plus two, three plus three, four plus four, five plus five, six plus six, seven plus seven, eight plus eight. What comes next? Nine plus nine. We're taking all our regular numbers and we're just doubling them. Look, seven, eight, nine. All right, what is nine plus nine? Well, some of you know this, but a lot of us don't, so we can draw our circles. Nine circles plus nine more Okay, count them up. What did you get? 18. So nine plus nine is 18. All right, boys and girls, there are more doubles facts at the bottom for you to practice to get us used to our doubles. Five plus five, seven plus seven, six plus six, 10 plus 10, four plus four, eight plus eight. You can use the other problems that we did to help you answer these down here, okay? Because remember, doubles facts, we want to just know these. As you're writing, doing these, I want you to say them. Five plus five is... It's five plus five, 10. So I want you to say that as you're doing it. Five plus five is 10. So then once you write this answer in, I want you to say it. That way you practice saying your doubles. So when you see it again, it might you might remember it. Again, you can use the answers that we already did to help you out. The only one that we don't have one to is 10 plus 10. So some of you might know this and some of you might need to make your circles. So pause, work on the bottom, and when you're finished, hit play to check your answers. All right, if you're looking at this, it's because you are ready to see the answers. You filled in your problem. So let's go through. I'm gonna put my answers in and then we're gonna, we're gonna say them. Five plus five is 10. Seven plus seven is 14. Six plus six is 12. 10 plus 10 is 20. That was one we didn't have, so let's say that one more time. 10 plus 10 is 20. I hope you're saying them along with me. Four plus four is eight. Eight plus eight is 16. All right, boys and girls, I hope you said these along with me for practice. That way, when you see them again, you can remember your doubles fact. Remember, if you don't know your doubles, that's something you want to practice. Okay, pause at any time, but if you're ready, we're going to turn our page. All right, write a doubles fact to solve. Okay, so remember, double stack means that we have the same add-ins, right? Like two plus two, four plus four, 
Okay, same atoms. Meg and Paul each put eight apples into a basket. How many apples are in the basket? So if they each put eight in, that means Meg put eight and Paul put eight. So let's make our plus problem. Eight plus eight. All right, well, what is eight plus eight? We don't know. We can draw our circles or we can look back. Eight plus eight is, did you say it? Eight plus eight is 16. Say that with me. Eight plus eight is 16. Let's do it one more time. Eight plus eight is 16. All right, I think those of you who are saying it with me, okay, the more we say it, the more we remember it. Okay, if we were in school, that would be something we would do every day. We'd practice our double stacks. We just go through and say them over again. So that might be something you want to do with your grown up at home. Okay, practice those doubles. All right, there are eight. Oh, math on the spot. So remember, there's a video for this if you want to see it. There are 18 people at the party. Some are boys and some are girls. The number of boys is the same as the number of girls. All right, so boys and girls, there's 18 people at the party. So our answer is 18. Some are boys and some are girls, but this, they have the same number of girls as boys. That means this is a doubles fact. We need to think, well, what doubles fact equals 18. Hmm, we might need to look back and see. Hmm, what doubles fact? Look through your doubles fact. What doubles fact equals 18? When you find it, you say it. 9 plus 9 equals 18. Say that with me. 9 plus 9 equals 18. So let's Fill that in. Nine plus nine equals 18. Make sure you say that out loud. Okay, remember we say it and that helps us to remember it. Okay, so it was nine girls and nine boys. Nine plus nine equals 18. It says the cubes show a doubles fact. Choose the doubles fact and the sum. So we have, look how many, four plus blank equals blank. So four plus, what's the other number? Four, so I'm gonna circle this four, equals blank. So four plus four equals, some of you know it, I know you do. What is it, four plus four, does four plus four equal seven or does four plus four equal eight? Eight. Four plus four equals eight. All right, boys and girls, our lesson was a little short today. You're going to work on your personal math trainer now and practice those doubles facts. The more you say those doubles facts, the more you will know them. You might want to write them down on a piece of paper to practice them. Okay, so take that extra time to practice those doubles facts. If you know them, your doubles facts up to 20, right? So 1 plus 1, 2 plus 2, all the way up to 10 plus 10, okay? It will help you with some of our other lessons that we're going to have.